Well guys, the Jaguar is broke again. Seems like once a month this thing's broke and it only has like 80,000 miles on it. I noticed antifreeze all over the ground. Of course the wife didn't stop even though the car was telling her low on antifreeze. Look at this radiator hose manifold broke. Just snapped off, blew all the antifreeze all over the car. But it goes right there. So, I was warned about this hose. It's about a $250 hose. Goes there, has a nipple coming off to the throttle body to keep it from icing up. All this is going to have to come out even to access it, even to see it. We'll have to change out the coolant sensor there. And look at that. To change the thermostat housing, you got to pull an injector. It's always something with this car. Well guys, this is going to be an item that I'm going to do from Rock Auto. So I'm going to go ahead and undo all these hose clamps. So I ordered the part from Rock Auto, but the problem is it won't be here for close to a week. So I ordered the part from Rock Auto and it's not going to be here for a week. So, But I'm undoing what I can. So we got this hose clamp undone. We got that hose clamp undone. We got this good and loose. I can pull it off, but if we pull it off now, we're gonna have to cover it up, keep mice or whatever kind of critters from getting in there. Air box has got to come off and the MAF sensor. But the next thing is we have to get down in here to undo that hose there coming off the thermostat. Oh, plastic, plastic, plastic. This never happened on a, an old car where everything was metal. If you don't have one of these tools, go get one. Go to Harbor Freight or something and get one. It makes life so much easier to be able to get down into clamps like this right here. How are you going to get that out? But that tool makes it so easy. If you just attach it like this, <clears throat> attach it down there, and you just squeeze it. And the neat thing is, is it ratchets it ratchets it's gonna lock I need three hands put the camera down I can't hold the camera and use that tool at the same time but see you can just loosen that up slide it off the nipple there so we got that one ready now we have another one down here we need to do so if you don't have one of these tools it's well worth the money. They're not very expensive. Video on taking the air box out because I have never been able just to undo these tabs to change the filter. See, it still won't open up. So you got to take that 10 millimeter bolt out right here. 10 millimeter. Um, so when we got the car, when I went to check the air filter, come to find out these tabs were not even hooked in. So whoever changed the air filter just forced it and they just clipped the snap, but there was a quarter inch gap here. So what good's that air box what good's the air filter gonna do when there's a big gap going straight in there? So you need to take you need to take the air box out to be able to access things. So you're gonna have two push pins right here and right here. And I forgot, but down in here, see there is a hidden There is a hidden Phillips screw right here. And I think it's a push pin with a screw in it. So nothing's easy on this car. Yep, see it's a push pin with a screw in it. Push pin with a screw. Remember it's all plastic. This whole front end is all plastic. So you gotta be very careful. So the other push pins 
you just take the top pin out with an upholstery tool and then pull the bottom one out. So the one bolt holding the air box in is right here, but you just got another, I don't know, grommet, whatever you want to call that thing that it pops down in down there. Now we can get a better look at the hose that we're going to be replacing. Get a better look at the hose we're going to be replacing here, right here. And we're going to have to have to redo that sensor right there and unhook it there. So you do need to take that cowling off that goes all the way across so you can access where these two push pins go right here. Because I couldn't tilt it up without it. So here you can see what busted. My guess is it's been leaking for a while. That's what all that whiteness is about. Now I get these hoses loose just stick you a small standard screwdriver in there and wiggle it around to get it loose and then once it breaks loose it's gonna pop right off you know in the olden days you always replaced hoses every every three to five years on your old cars but they just you know a radiator hose was ten bucks not three hundred okay guys you might want to consider taking the belly pan off first because it's going to fill up but I put a pan under the vehicle but I'm sure the belly pan is going to catch it all this is your thermostats in there so what we do is we if you don't know how to do this you just slide a screwdriver up in there tr trying not to get points tearing the inside of the hose up so we got three more uh i didn't have it on film but i pulled out the your temperature sensor goes in right there maybe i'll show it reinstalling Okay, just got one left down below. Got that one off. This one wasn't too hard. Just have this one down below to get loose. I guess we didn't run it completely in anti antifreeze. We still got a little bit. But what I wanted to show you guys at this point is when you squeeze these clamps right here, there's a locking tab. See that? It locks itself loose. And I think all you got to do then is you put a screwdriver when you get it in place where you want it. Okay, guys, there you go. That right there is where the temperature sensor goes in there. There's a little clip that holds it in place there. They want 300 and some dollars for this. Rock Auto. But O'Reilly's anywhere like that. They want now would be an easy time to replace that water pump, wouldn't it? Look at that. So basically to replace the water pump, all this has got to come off anyways. So I haven't decided since we're in here, I'm thinking about changing the serpentine belt and replacing that, that water pump would be real easy. Well guys, this is what happens when you try and buy the cheap parts. I was trying to save a couple hundred dollars and look how different they are. Okay, look at the angle of this. Look at the angle of this compared to that one. So I'm gonna have to try and turn this one or it's not gonna work. I don't know whether they just slapped it together or what. Next thing is where this blew out, that's all good, but see where my temperature sensor is on the bottom? There's nothing on the bottom here. They've moved it up to the top and it's thread in instead of push in with a u-joint to push in with an o-ring we're going to have to try and try and turn this so it'll match up and it's like all the hoses aren't the same orientation pretty aggravating but this was this one was 200 dollars cheaper than the gates one so let's see how this all turns out little tip guys I always take some dielectric grease 
always buy it by the large tube you guys have probably put this on spark plug boots and so forth but this will not break down the rubber like Vaseline a lot of people just use Vaseline but that can break it down so around everywhere there's a nipple and we're going to slide that hose on we want to put that grease all the way around these and all around the nipples so we have lubricant so it should be able to slide on well for the temperature sensor we're going to use some pipe dope like i said this tool is invaluable especially for that one right there there's no way you're going to get a pair of channel locks or something on it so everything with that lube everything moved in there really good This tool here is invaluable. Okay, this is the one that has got the tab on it. All right, we want to try and put them back where they were at. I'm going to try and get everything back where it was if you got. snap clips work pretty good but I couldn't get it I couldn't get the screwdriver on it so we'll have to get this tool on it again we want to put it back wherever the groove all right had to go run the trap line so the little ones I'm just gonna use that actually these little ones are the hardest ones to get on I know you keep saying it but this tool is invaluable Okay, that one's good. Alright, that silicone grease makes all the difference in the world. Now, alright, we're gonna use we're gonna use pipe dope on that. Thermostat housing. It's all tight. Oh, we got this one here to do yet. almost forgot and this is the one that started it all it's like that all right now we got throttle body to hook up got that clean that up this and I disconnected that to get the air breather out so we're basically done guys just put the air breather back on and fill it with antifreeze Okay guys, I thought I was going to have to abort. I thought this mission was complete. When I screwed in the new temperature sensor that came with this cheap one from Rock Auto instead of buying one from Jaguar, there's key ways in this to make it only match up one way. Well, the key ways do not match up. I should have stopped and videoed and showed what I did, but I basically this is very important if you buy one of these okay on this side here that keyway is offset so I just took this razor knife took it like this and laid it on the side and I shaved away that ridge that was sticking out that goes into the keyway I just shaved it away and now I could snap it on otherwise I was like gonna have to send the whole thing back or something because it wouldn't fit with this wiring cut that ridge away so it'll fit that one keyway that ridge will not fit worked out the next thing is by placing this on the top instead of the bottom I had to trim away all that tape it wasn't electrical tape it's kind of assembly tape it's hooked on right here all the way around this because it was I was gonna have to kink this wire and I did not want to do that and I'm in a hurry otherwise I would have wrapped this with electrical tape and I'll do that at a later time but I just zip tie that to try and secure that because I don't want this wire flopping a whole bunch with that right there 
and it's going to get that's the one big hurdle so we're just going to temporarily zip tie that to hold it there to give it support here's all that that tape i had to cut off i mean it's better than electrical tape electrical tape wouldn't have lasted all these years 